Okay, so it's uh, six o'clock. I'd like to open up the meeting. Um, are there any adjustments at all to the agenda? I don't have any. <clears throat> I have one um, that didn't make it on the agenda. Um, I did get a response from VLCT as kind of a follow-up to the cemetery, Westwoodbury Cemetery discussion that we had on July. Was that last time? I guess it must it have was. been. I read it in a minute. Yeah. Um, so just, uh, um, and um, let me, I'll put that in the updates uh, towards the end. Any public comment? Don't hear any. Um, so I haven't had a chance to look at the bills. I guess we'll approve the bills by signing them when we get to them. Okay. Um, and then um, there is a copy of the minutes here, um, which I did read. Okay. And you know you weren't at the meeting, but if yeah. you want to sign them, I'll you're sign them. Yeah. them. And I have signed them. So I guess um, I'll make a motion to accept the minutes. Okay. I'll second that. Any discussion? Okay. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Okay. I guess technically we don't really have to do that, but no, it's a good it's idea. It's a good idea. Yep. Okay. So, um, town clerk's report. Greg Packers came in today and he brought me copies of both his and Greg Adams' licenses. Mm -hmm. He also okay. gave me his insurance information okay. for his vehicles. Mm -hmm. So I still need that for Peter and Greg? Greg for, for, their, uh, for the vehicles, like when they're using their vehicles to yes. run errands yeah. and stuff yeah. like that? I guess if they, if Greg and Peter do occasionally use their vehicle, that we should have that information. Yeah, because if they're running around in their rigs at all, personally, during town time, then we have to have it. Yeah. I know I see Greg sometimes headed to Hardwick doing right. errands, picking up parts and stuff. So. Yeah, um, usually Greg and usually and Peter don't. Okay, right. so it's pretty much Greg that does. Yeah, I guess. Or, well, or, I think or, or it's or still you. a good idea to get it because if they're called in off hours, I know for here we're in the same boat. People driving their personal vehicles to a fire call into the station are considered need to have insurance by this league. So I would just do it. Okay. Sound, just yeah, just make sure. I was going to bring you a copy of that uh, right. pledge to have Remember. everybody sign too. Yeah, well, yeah. It's a good idea. That way we've covered ourselves. Yeah. And I guess technically we should have a copy of your insurance too. If, you, if you're. Yeah, I don't know if you're doing well. Well, you uh, are. I didn't check your phone. I meant to bring I'll email it okay. to you for the All next right. time we That's can fine. go over it. Because it's already been vetted by the league in that way. It just says that if you lose your license or it gets altered, that they'll. You'll okay. let your supervisor Do you know. think that Chuck should provide that same information? I would if you're driving on town business. You probably are. Yeah. Because the only issue well, is... I don't know if I don't yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's probably a good idea. You have insurance, so it's just... It's Because I'm surprised they, they picked it up on when they audited us five wow. years ago. Okay. It's just, it's basically a liability issue. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, just saying they have insurance. That way, if you have a wreck, your insurance pays. Yeah. Right. Because if you don't have it, they come after the town, I found out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you have widens? That just widens it a little bit. We have the, the listers. The yeah, I think it's maybe we could ask to leave if they care, because I know they all of our 20 some members have to do it. I think anybody that technically is being paid by the town, probably, yep. of course, the select board, we don't make anything, so no. I think we're an example. <laughs> can take my whole paycheck. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Yeah. I would, because that yeah. way you don't get embarrassed by they don't have a license. You get their mm -hmm. insurance lapsed. And... Okay. Yeah. That's good. Okay. And then back beginning of July, you got an email from Dick Kip. Right. I've been meaning to respond to her. I, you know, I don't know. We could discuss that. Um, that what was, was about traffic on Route 14, particularly the the trucks going up to Coventry for the landfill. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, just a speed issue again, speed issue, probably some noise issue too, I would imagine. Um, but I think mostly it was a speed issue, especially from the trucks. Um, so maybe it's worth it. One of us to call Mr. Butts up and mm -hmm. say we're receiving complaints. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is that a particular company that, yeah, 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 there's small. Okay. I, I was say she doesn't specify yes. a certain individual or company in here. Yeah, oh, there's okay. only one that goes by here. 
Okay. Well, could, could you, could you read that to us, Robin? Because I, I remember reading it. It was a few weeks yeah. ago. He says, I'm sure many people on the 14 are having the same problem, a horrible experience with trucks gearing down and stacking up miners and, and going through town. My brain is rattled. Would very town truck, oh, would very town trucks go too fast? Uh huh. The garbage trucks never go the speed limit. And particularly bad are the V shaped trucks. Those are pavement trucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are nothing to do with yeah. that. I don't know I what saw the most yeah. they don't fit Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, again, we're back to an enforcement issue. It's not just yeah. one company. We can't. Yeah. There also is supposed to be a 35 mile an hour in 10. And I'm not sure, but I can almost guess they're doing 55 miles past my house, heading mm -hmm. towards Hyper. Right. And that's um, the Kipps house is before the. Warning no, sign. they're going towards because the 50 mile an hour is right there by your Yeah, it's their truck, right by the way. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we're going to be getting to the sheriff's contract. Right. If we're going to, we can also, when we sign the contract, tell them yeah. we, need, we need some enforcement. And I just mm -hmm. all, I don't know what else to do. Yeah. It's and then I've talked to a couple of other people, and they say it's like those speed signs. They're just trying to guess what their speed is. And when they find out what their speed is, they just step on it. Oh. <laughs> Well, you know, for me, usually when I get to the speed sign, it tells me that I'm speeding, and that reminds you me. You go for the high to, score. No, yeah, no. Yeah. It reminds me to slow down, but by the time I go through the speed sign, I'm sure it registers that I'm not going to right the 35 miles an hour. So. Yeah, I mean, this is tough because we've, we've trying to do police coverage, yeah. and we're not getting it. I just don't yeah. know what else to do. Yeah. And then this morning, I got a reminder for the forest survey. I forwarded it to both you and Paul Council. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see that when I got home from work today. But um, Because they say the deadline, if it hasn't been filled out, the deadline for the survey is tonight at midnight. Oh, okay. Well, I'll look at it when I get home, I guess. <laughs> you didn't have nothing to do tonight, right? <laughs> um, so, and the, the forest survey, would that be something that the town is required to do, or is that something that somebody wants to do for the town? It's the one that the town has to fill out. Okay. Right. Oh, a, a survey, not a um, land survey, but just. Okay, yeah, it's a That's, survey to fill out online. Okay, probably survey a monkey. Survey thing. monkey thing. That's, that looks like a museum. And then the other thing I've been working on is studying the Kipps House and the Kipps for mm -hmm. the big purge that's going to happen this year. Okay, yeah. So how do you know who to remove from the, the list? Just whether they're still on the tax? Well, they said they have, they have to go through two elections where they don't vote. Okay. And we have to send them out letters. Okay. Yeah, there's a process. Yeah. yeah. So there's a process of letting them know. And, right. And then they, do they respond whether or not they want to remain on the voting list? Is that right. part of it? So if you don't hear anything at all, that's then they they're get removed eventually. Then they're removed from the list. But it sounds like it takes two years. Yep, that's what I understand. Okay, all right. So it's definitely a process. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And that's it for today. That's it for Perfect. today. Okay. <laughs> um, any questions at all for for Robin? No. Nope. At all. Okay. So town treasurer's report. Mm -hmm. We also received our final 
quarter for Swenson's for April, May, and June of $10,017.02. Can, can you just tell us the total for that, just for the, for the uh, camera? I do. I, I know you gave it to me. Yeah. Let me read it. Okay. So Brandy gave me um, the total for the fiscal year 21, which came to uh, 30, $36,230 in the quarry. Uh, in cash receipts module, over the last two weeks, we took in $1,922.70. Um, delinquent taxes over the last two weeks, $2,633.43. Total income, $40,866.24. I transferred $16,000 over into the money market today. Um, and the other thing I have on my list is the full contract. Um, Michael had signed, so if I can just get Paul. Yep, you got it here. Expenses. I don't have it here, but Brandy has it. Oh. Okay, oh, somewhere right here. here. Oh, that, that, I think okay, that's it. I'll there. get it, yeah. So if you have a check, um, she had given it to me the last two, last on the 13th, so it's mm -hmm. the day after the last. Mm -hmm. um, and so I have a check for the pre the the pre buy, mm -hmm. um, and she's typing up a contract. I still don't have the contract for the fuel contract. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I typed it up as far as our side, get the board to sign it, and then I'll scan it and email it to her. Mm -hmm. Um, so the, the payment we got from VTrans, um, that was for 18,000? Um, yep, that's class two and three roads. So that's class two and three roads. So yep, that's quarterly. Oh, it's a quarterly payment. Oh, good. Yes. Good. So we're kind of, that's pretty much the correct amount then based on what um, the VTrans had said they would be able to give us. I know when Shauna... When we did that up in the spring, shortly after town meeting, she just mentioned that this is what I'm figuring on that the town would get, but um, it would depend on what the legislature did and as far as um, money, just because of the uncertainty with the pandemic. But sounds like sounds like we're good, we're pretty much on what we budgeted for. So that's good. Anything else? Any other questions for Brandy at all? Did we, I had, uh, we talked about creating another gravel code. Oh, right. I was supposed to put that on the agenda. Yeah, that's it? okay, but it's easy to leave <laughs> because, because we want to make sure that when they're like the Cabot Road's got a big gravel project coming up, it's not counted against their uh, budgeted gravel totals, just the grants. So we get like a code that was uh, grant gravel. Mm -hmm. That way, you know, if he's getting, 30,000 in gravel for regular roads, he still gets that 30 plus whatever the grant is. Yeah, because that'll be a significant gravel. Because that'll mean Chuck can still buy. Yeah, so I don't remember exactly what it was. It yeah. Was like 78 loads. That's what I'm saying, too. It'll take a huge hunk out of your budget, which yeah. shouldn't come out of the regular budget. Right. Because it's going to be, it'll have to come out of something, but it'll get reimbursed, you know what I'm saying? So it should, they should, if they, they should still be able to buy 30. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, any so any of the future grants now that they didn't use to what the change was they didn't use to count gravel. You know what they do now. You know what we could do is have a line item. You know, not just uh, gravel grant gravel or whatever, but maybe just gravel or grant expenses. Yeah. So that like might culverts. be easier. Well, the thing is, when we do a better back road grant, we're getting the reimbursements right. for our twenty percent match is our write off. Yeah. Um, right. And where that will pop up in gravel. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, okay, we made it, it, because the gravel was just a new one. Because I could see how we could have a problem if we took it out, if we budgeted this gravel expense, right? And then Chuck's like, "Oh, I'm out of gravel." When he only got it was all grant gravel. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe just a grant. Just, yeah, just a grant expense, and then you know we'll shuffle the numbers to make it make it work for the twenty percent. So, so we'll have to make sure, and the, I think the road crew pretty much does this, but that way you code it, code uh, it that way. When yeah, so it gets coded that way, and, and so the brandy's clear on, um, and even when um, you know when sometimes they'll grab stuff from that's at the garage, and that's always a kind of a headache for the person doing the report to figure out, well, um, so there are a certain number of invoices that add up to a certain number of yards of gravel, and then there's 
more gravel. Well, it numbers. might make sense on these grant projects just to buy the stuff and bill it so you have all the paperwork for it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we'll try to yeah. yeah, and what I usually do when, when the, that doesn't happen is um, just have Brandy find me the most recent invoice. Make up an invoice for it, and yeah, because I know what that's like. they got to see invoices for everything. Yeah. No, it's got to... It's no, gotta, we'll yeah. we will try to Perfect, yeah. okay. Things I'm just trying to make sure we're not chipping into the regular budget with right. grant stuff. Yeah. No. yeah. Yeah. So, so anything really, culverts, stone, yeah, stone culvert. anything that's used um, um, towards... Yeah, catch to that is if it's not completed in, during that fiscal year, it's going to carry forward. So it'll right. be uh -huh. an expense. Yeah, it will. It might look like we overspent, but it'll, it'll wash out, I think. It'll, we'll get yeah. there. And I think what we'll try to do is, like um, Chuck held off on the Cabot Road, because we of course we were told that we couldn't start it until... until after July 1st. After July 1st. <clears throat> um, but if we so, get it done this year, yeah, this yeah. fall, so we're not having to rush it in the spring. Right, yeah. And then I'll make sure that I get the report done before the fiscal year ends. There's a lot of radio work on as far as culverts and ditching and that stuff. That should go pretty fast. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a matter of getting that 17 year old gravel right there. On there, yeah. Okay. Shit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, um, sounds like we're talking about the town highway, so that's my We've moved on. I think Brandy's... Were you done? <laughs> okay. I'm glad you remembered that, Paul. Thank you. Yeah, because I know we're going to get into spending the money. I want to just make sure we're counting it, because right. the gravel's new. It's, it wasn't paid before. Yeah. Right. I don't think we're going to end up with anything from uh, Swinton as far as crash gravel. Okay. All right. Today, it ain't looking like it's going to come out. It's okay. not working out. All right, okay. well, so, so be it. Yeah. yeah. Um, that $21,000 you just got for class two and class three, that's good because there's probably a couple of new tasks to finish up the bottom of Foster Hill. Oh, okay. But that's telling you that it's about half done. They resurfaced, they, they resurfaced half of it today. They're doing from the pavement to the King Pond Road? Yeah. And we're going to do some work in that intersection down there on the King Fall Road, too. Mm -hmm. uh, and in that, I call it clay wall, that big bump right there beside that railway. We're going to mm -hmm. try to do some extensive work right there and get rid of that. Mm -hmm. Put some drainage in and some stone. Mm -hmm. See if we can do away with it. I'm pretty sure we can. Mm -hmm. uh, We've been doing a lot of spot rain and rain, had a lot of days without rain in it. So right, I know we've got a stretch of rain. But it sounds like maybe the rest of the week and next mm -hmm. week is going to be fairly decent. Cranberry mm -hmm. Mineral Road needs it, County Road needs it, mm -hmm. Bob Road. But we've mm -hmm. been to West Woodbury and done that. That's a okay. good shape. Yeah. Uh, it is amazing how the, um, you know, the roads are really good for a good long stretch and then, and then one rain start storm. getting rain and the pop. I've connected it in my couple of years doing this now that the more rain we have, the more road trouble we have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Last year we didn't have a lot of rain, so the roads stayed pretty good. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, hmm. Chris Mm -hmm. Called me today and wanted to know if we were, uh, if we, there was any way to interest us in doing that job, and I said, no, because it should be somewhere four or five feet deep, and mm -hmm. it's going to take. That's that sewer line. Yeah. yeah. So you're yeah. going to take a big excavator with a jackhammer on it, or mm -hmm. some dynamite. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, that's. Part of that. No. No. Uh, and it's, you know, it's his personal right. Right. house septic system, so. And uh, we're going to finish up the Foster Hill Road, and then we're coming up and doing the parking lot of the school. Okay. Uh-huh, yeah. And then we're going up there mm -hmm. on the road. Okay, all right. So that's the plan right now. Okay, sounds good, yeah. Oh, and... Ronnie Landry asked me to ask you, and I almost just told him no, because he wants to know if you'd be interested in letting him buy like eight or ten loads of sand and put it over the sand pile and then go over there and love it. Hmm. 
problem is if you do that, every, every yeah, person is Right, yeah, that's the issue and who's keeping track of how much sand it is. Yeah. And the other issue is you're going to load on a weekend. Right. Yeah, the, the loader, I know that's a liability issue right. um, that, that we couldn't, you know. Um, yeah, I think it's probably a, not a good idea. It sets a bad precedent, you know. Any then other someone else going to want to do it. Person who has a. Right. And can you say yes to one no? Well, if we're gonna, I think if we're going to go down there, well, we need to develop a policy on it and how, right. if we are going to do it, that's how we're going to do it. I just know you're going to measure the, the product too, how much they use. Yeah, I think I'm afraid we'll turn into a bigger headache. Yeah. Yeah. Did you use the ten loads or more or less or I don't know? Yeah. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. Yeah. So it's no. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sorry, but no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. That bad yeah. And you know, explain. I mean, he. Pro I'm sure he would understand that we're just kind of opening the door to right. or Pandora's box. Two or three or people in there, and then you're having to keep track of how much product people take yeah. out and yeah. who's you. You know, they're going to have to all get town insurance to use the loader. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good deal. Someone tips it over or hurts themselves yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's the world we're in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the lady in Bruce Tucker's old house. What's her name on it? Mary J. Jennings. Mm -hmm. um, I called her and told her we had East Hill all straightened out. Okay. So she that place where it was draining and kind of running yeah, into her backyard. We put three of the cabins and shake it off so it runs. To the Keeps going. Of the road. Okay. Along the rip rack where it's supposed to go. Great. So it's going over the bank into her yard. Well, she said it was. I, no. Okay. Yeah. Well, there yeah. was no, there was no rivulets or no. channels or the leaves were disturbed or anything. Uh huh. And she thought it was from the cutout we got up top of the hill. But it's like I told her, her house is here and that cutout's there, and there's 50 feet it's between quite, quite a bit her of house and there. In the elevation, mm -hmm. gravity just ain't gonna let that water run across that side. Yeah, no, it's gonna go straight down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know um, she called me about that last summer, and I did go up and look at it, and, and um, there was water that was running down from that cutout. Um, and then, you know, there was some road gravel and, and kind of an eroded little gully there that. Um, and I think the road crew kind of went up and did something yeah. there the last after after that. But she got a bunch of poplars in the back of her garage, and she positive that that's what's killed them. Uh -huh. But they're in a gravel bank, right? And you know how poplars are anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she, when they cut it, cut the bank out to put the garage in, they left an overburden on that gravel bank. Mm -hmm. So water hangs in that overburden, mm -hmm. drops in with that gravel and washes the sand out of it, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. she thinks it's coming from the road. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, it's not now, anyway. No. no for sure. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Okay. Go from there, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And that color up on these scale is a two footer. Two footer? Yeah. Okay. By, uh, by, um, uh, what? There. Yeah. Gwen yeah. Marsha, Marsha, yeah. Yeah. Gwen. Gwen. Yeah, Gwen, yeah, Gwen Marsha. Yeah. So, uh, Gwen and I have a look into it. Okay. Either that rock pump coming down through or the beaver dam let go. I, I, would, I would guess that maybe a beaver dam let go. Because, yeah. um, you know, we did have a baffle in, the beaver were plugging one of those culverts two or three years ago. Um, and I remember seeing the water, you know, when the culvert was plugged, I would see the water running down the side of the road, which I imagine is the same way it was um, the yeah. other day. But, um, yeah. and I did walk back in there. It's, it's not an easy walk to even yeah. see the dams. Um, yeah. But there were, there were, there's quite a bit of water back there, but for that to, you know, that amount of rain, those culverts should have just for a normal flow. There weren't any other culverts that didn't handle the flow of water. Well, the one of house, the brook, the brook circles their house, yeah. that goes across the road. That's mm -hmm. a 30-inch culvert. Uh-huh, yeah. 
And that one up there is 24. 24, yeah. And Greg and I have been talking about, we, uh, I'm pretty sure it was about 70 inch taller than that. Okay, all right. So at some point, it may be worth thinking about doing that. Okay. See what kind of time you guys have with your other projects. Right, right. right. and how much rain will be. I mean, if right. it continues to be a problem, we'll have to do something. If it happens again, yeah. 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 I could try to get back in there to see if a dam went out, just to kind of, it's a yeah, good excuse okay. for a walk, um, but <laughs> I'll, I'll wear my waders when I do it, I guess. Yeah, probably that. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the all I got. Okay. Anything, any questions? For I'm good. No, I can't think of anything. Okay. You got a medical call, but I'm so okay. somebody uh, else. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Well, okay. One we'll, we'll last thing. We'll okay. We kept it going over through to the log land and top of Shady Hill mm -hmm. Thursday, and I set Greg right back up today and he finished the line and then mm -hmm. the hospital. Okay. Great. So. Good. Um, so good. Richard is here. I'm glad you came early. I was thinking I should call Richard back and tell him to come a little bit early because we. Often are ahead of schedule or. I'm head down to the town park truck. I said, wait a minute, there's a truck, truck. Uh huh, good. <laughs> Maybe it's all the head. Yeah. Yeah, we probably won't be having select board meetings there anymore. It's just too tight of a space, you know, with this. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll either be here or in the community room when it gets colder. Um, yeah. So. Um, Last meeting, we talked a little bit about the, the town hall, um, and, and particularly, you know, we've been talking for a while about getting the outside of the building painted. Um, and we pretty much settled on, you know, having Richard do the painting for us, and we were interested in knowing how much he thought it would cost. And. Okay. Uh, I went and first. Today I went to fresh one and then wet and stuff. Mm -hmm. they have it. And uh, they want, I just want one, I want a small one that told me to truck, you know. Uh -huh, yeah, you know, yeah. Not one that you uh, drive yourself. They <laughs> want $250. Dude, a day, geez, or $900 for a week. And, well, you get one of them, and then you get, and the way the weather has been, you can't paint in the river. <laughs> right. But I can get some staging, I think, from somewhere, and I'll set it up on the back side because they put the metal on the roof and uh -huh. you get a ladder up there. Right. And and it, so yeah, and the ladder wouldn't be very safe if. Get yeah. some staging and put some clamp in there and get that back side. Okay. What was the total? Um, so the total, actually, I just kind of. Well, the paint's going to run in. Frank, I think it's about 20. Twenty-five dollars a gallon. Okay. And the white paint, the other paint, is about forty-eight, I guess. That was the price of the average. I was sure. And who was going to do the painting? Richard. You're going to do it. Oh. Yeah. Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah. And the hours, uh, I'm figuring twenty-five. It might be a little more. It might be a little less. Okay. So there's the primer paint. Okay. Um, one thing that I. Um, I think we should probably check with is, uh, you know, the, the building is uh, on the nat natural or national register. So they may have requirements for the type of paint. I don't know if they do or not, but probably oh. it would be worth checking in. Um, I don't think it was back to paint the last time. No. No. The well, last time it came from um, right. Home Depot. Huh? Home Depot. Oh, I don't know why it comes from. I thought it was bare paint. Okay. So I think you can do whatever. All right. And nobody, that, and the building was on the National Register yeah. then? And, yeah. yeah. And there weren't any. They're mostly going to care about color. If you wanted to paint it pink, they'd probably right. care. Oh, <laughs> too. Right. Somebody would care. <laughs> it's going to be white. Okay. okay. It's probably going to be in probably a pork and green paint to do the, yes. the trim. Any color you want as long as it's white. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> With green trim. <laughs> well, paint the letters white. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we're talking about, um, let's see, $100 and um, primer. 
and maybe $200 for paint. Um, probably have you want to, to get another price from somebody else? No, 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 no we're fine. We're fine. We're good. We, we, we trust you. We know where you live. Yeah. We know where you live. Yeah. Huh? We know where you live. Yeah. So it'd be, it looks like it'll be probably around $3,000. Um, and you know, $250 for a lift yeah. would be okay. Yeah. What's well, a time saver too. If that would, if that would make things. It would be a time saver, yeah. Yeah. And you know, hopefully if you had it scheduled for a certain day and it rained, they wouldn't hold you to it. Uh, um, I don't know. I would, I would have to beach. Yeah. Okay. Um, so no, you, I was just surprised that for one of them small rings. Yeah. I mean, it's just a little thing you throw behind your pick up. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, yeah. I can check with Bill and I mean, we do a lot of stuff for the town. See if they give okay. you a little bit cheaper deal. I, I wouldn't be at all surprised if you beat that deal. Okay. But I think it might make a Speak to Ross and get some marble from the stadium. Okay. Well, Ron Lager has got a lot of sugar. Ron Lager has got a lot of sugar. Oh, I'm sure we'll get all of it. So that's totally yeah, up to I you. I thought it would be, you know, I would touch your expense down quite a bit because you're gambling, you know. Mm hmm. That's not huge. I mean, it's, not, it's not a big I've used those lifts. They're much easier if you can use the lift. Yeah. You don't have to keep moving stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll make a motion when he was a three grand. Okay. And it might be a little bit more. Let's do thirty-five hundred dollars okay. for starters here. Okay, and um, I'm assuming that we would take that money out of our um, we town fund, building yeah, we have fund. A fund for it. So. Yeah. The last stage of your financial. Um, so in there. Yeah. Okay, so we should be able to cover that. Chance to yeah. it for me. Okay, <laughs> so um, I'll second that motion. So, and the, the motion, just to repeat it, is that. We're approving the expense of $3,500 um, for the painting of the town hall um, and that Richard Patton would do the work and that we will take the money from our town building fund. Yep. Okay. So um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, and then um, come budget time, which will be coming we'll up. We'll have to put some money back. We should start putting money yeah. into that fund. We've been taking... Yeah. Because there's lots of little things that need doing, yeah. and if we, we, bud, we budget for it, we can start doing those yeah. things. But the town clerk's office is looking like it'll be due for a paint job pretty soon, yeah. too. So, so yeah, I mean, it's something we've, we were lucky there was a good chunk of money in there, and we have been taking some out every year. Um, but we, this coming year, or next fiscal year, we should budget to put, start putting some money in there. Because it looks like we're spending it. Um, great. So, um, you know, let us know what you think about, you know, now, lift or staging. Now, the paint is where you want to get it, out there. Wherever? Well, you have an account out there. Poolin. Poolin. So get it at Poolin. Okay. Yeah. I didn't stop paying the price yet, but. Yeah. I mean, it should be comparable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I. I and Chuck, do you want to check at Milton Rental to see? I will. Okay. Okay. Maybe maybe just talk to Richard yeah. directly about if that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, and then the other part of uh, the town hall on the agenda is. Um, I hope it's a test this time. People are wanting you. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we got a medical call going now. Fire go off. Okay. So um, I think I mentioned in the last meeting, or maybe the one before that, I did talk to Mary Jo Llewellyn about, um, you know, um, the town hall and the town kind of working out a plan for initially just what we need to do to start considering um, renovations to the town hall and um, she was willing to kind of head that up that's kind of an ad hoc committee um, she was going to contact uh, Liz Pritchett to see if she might be interested in um, being a part of it I know Robin is interested. Um, I asked Diana if she would be interested, and she said yes. Um, uh, Mary Jo um, recommended that I contact Norman Etkin, which I haven't done yet, but I will. 
And then I was thinking it might be nice to have somebody from the fire department sit it because you guys sure, use this probably put bit. somebody on there. Yeah. Um, it shouldn't require. No. Uh, what, uh, what Mary Jo was saying is that basically we kind of need to figure out um, what we want to do to the building. Um, Weatherize and, it better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, and then what we you know the kind of um, legal or uh, permit whatever you know with it being on the national register and blah 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 what kinds of things we need to do to uh, I'll call it the paperwork part of it. Um, That's um, an easy answer. Which, which she knows. If well. you don't take their money, you can do whatever you want. Right. And uh, I guess Liz does also. So. Yeah. Um, and I would imagine Norman probably does too. Yeah, um, they both would be very familiar with that. Yeah. Um, so basically, we're going to be meeting to um, make a plan, um, and then, um, and then kind of see where we might be able to get some financial help to do to do that. Or budget, because I mean, some or of budget. this I don't think is going to yeah. be terribly expensive. No, no. Um, so um, I guess as soon as I contact Norman, which, which will be an email probably um, tomorrow, um, well, it sounds like we'll have a group. And Paul, if, if, if maybe I'll find when, when the fire department's yeah. together tomorrow, um, just um, anyone who might be willing. I think probably you guys do have some ideas of what, what would be helpful here for, sure for your do. use of it. A lot of it you're not going to see. <laughs> Um, so you all know me then? Yes, sir. I think Thank we you are for here. all your good work. I'm dead. Well, I don't want to take good things here. Well, no, you got this fire, so now we just got to see how good you are at slowing the paintbrush. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I can do better. Well, Randy, you can just send that slip to me. You want some radishes? Yeah. Oh, yes, everybody has to take at least five radishes. They give me the birds. Come on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be good for it. <laughs> they would actually. They look, just make them look like a cookie and someone will take it. Yeah. Okay, so sounds, any other questions about the town hall at all? And I have said that I would call Efficiency Vermont to see about an energy audit. I thought I would also kind of mention the town clerk's office too. It might be good to do an audit there. Um, I know um, it might be good to f see if maybe a heat pump. I think heat pumps are awesome. I bought Which would one. also be air conditioning in the summer. Well, the other thing it has done is all this smoke and fiber crap, it filters that air. So the air in my house is nice and clean because it wouldn't be hot in here and they don't cost very much to run. No, yeah. well, we have one over there. I love it's mine. It's our only source of heat. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, of course, we need. Of course, you're. As soon as it starts getting cold, you're headed south. Well, <laughs> We Which is okay. Well, no, but I use my heat pump for heat right up until December, until it gets into the low yeah. teens. Yeah, yeah, then I turn my furnace on. Yeah. But like for you guys working in the town clerk's office, you could make the temperature nice in there and get rid of the humidity. And I think the building could be tightened up a bit too. Those windows are, are pretty yeah. old and leaky. And there's grants, you know, energy credits you can exactly. get to do yeah. some of that work. Yeah. You could tell the basement of it. Yeah. Place yeah. yeah. We, we did that for our house. Um, and pretty much what we put into it, we got reimbursed for. Yeah. Um, um, and there's just no, no need, the cost of those things, there's no seem need to sweat and suffering no. in your house. There's just right. no need of it. I, I, I'm impressed. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I was skeptical, but I'm very impressed. Yeah. Oh my God, because it gets so nasty and you yeah. just put it on and set it right at 70 or whatever you like it and it stays no humidity and it's yeah. cool. It's uh, mm -hmm. filtered, the air gets filtered. and Yeah. Okay, so I'll, you know, maybe we'll get both buildings um, checked out. Um, good, so it sounds like the town hall has um, done that. Um, so I put the American Rescue Plan Act on, um, you know, we've talked about uh, getting a committee together to figure out what the town might want to have um, to apply for or what the needs are, I guess, basically, to, and whether they meet the criteria. And I was thinking it might be good to maybe just have a, an informal town meeting and invite people to come. Um, and then form a committee from whoever shows up, um, whether it wouldn't have to necessarily be everybody, but um, 
people who might be willing to to um, work on that. Um, and it would be basically, you know, we Brandy has sent in the, our intention of uh, wanting to use the funds. And I know the state, I heard a statement from um, Governor Scott about they're trying to um, maybe try to convince the federal government or to whoever free up that uh, to kind of let go of the money. county thing because we we were eligible for um, two hundred and sixty thousand yeah. dollars before the this whole county thing happened and so our allotment went down to ninety eight thousand I think which is that's a good chunk of money especially for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, because the counties, I don't know what they're going to spend it on. Right. You know it ain't going to make it through the filter, though, because this filter usually sucks up all the cash. The federal yeah. government is just assuming that, you know, There's other county, states have... Big county government. County governments, right. which are, don't. are... And we have a county judicial... And a sheriff. Stuff, and a sheriff. But other than that, there's right. nothing really in place to, to help disperse those funds. So, um, And I know that uh, our... Um, U.S. reps are tr trying to, also trying to convince the, um, but it sounds like the governor is on to it too, so maybe they'll make a difference. Because in our state, it's a lot of money that's going to be sucked up by nothing almost. Right, yeah. But, so we, we you know, we, we've done our due diligence in, in signing that form, so we're, right. so we're we good for whatever we get. Um, but the, the, the next thing that is being asked of the towns is to come up with things you know to spend the money on um, and CV fiber is one of the things that we've been talking about or just high-speed internet um, but CV fiber is kind of the entity I think that to to get to that end um, so I have an update about that which I have real my real misgivings about the seed not that I don't believe in CV fiber uh -huh. is that this money's dangerous mm. because mm. you know my personal having read through this is that and my concern with bringing in a bunch of people that haven't read the book, potentially, mm -hmm. um, we need to be on really solid ice, in my opinion, if we're going to take any of this money. Yeah. Well, There's some things in there that are clearly, CV Fiber is one of them. My, my fear is that you'll spend the money and none of it will help Woodbury. Right. Well, that, that is... And so, um, I, to, to, to me, a it's a one-time opportunity for us to help something in town. Yeah. And I hate to shovel that money to an outside organization for two reasons. It either doesn't help us much... Well, we paid for a gutted a mile closer to town, but nothing to help you. Right. And then the second problem would be is if suddenly the federal government in their wisdom tells us that it, we don't agree because it didn't help you. Right. Um, so yeah, I'm because I'm just suggesting that we that we there's some things on that list yep. that are really specific. Yeah. Like paying employees for mm -hmm. who were working during the COVID time a a, a difference, you know, a, a bonus sort of a COVID bonus. Those things are clearly spelled right out. I'm just using that as one example. Yeah. So I think yeah. we just need to be super careful with this because right. Granny's got to sign all this paperwork. <laughs> so she's probably going, yeah. I just, this money scares me because I don't trust yeah. having gotten lots of grants and then having them at the second path come in. And this one's particularly scary because they're going to go, oh, well, we just decided three years after you spent the money that we don't that, think that, that's right. That's a very strange caveat to, the, yeah. to this uh, funding. So the answer to me is just, find the really the really black just black and white stuff just it says right there and that's what we did mm -hmm. so how are you be wrong you know i was thinking that maybe for this meeting um it would be good to have someone either from vlc sure yeah because you get what i'm saying with the yeah, no, just, people are going to show oh, we got all this free money it's like well not so much <laughs> and when we talked to when we had uh, bonnie wanniger um, when we first talked about this when she came um met us i think we were still meeting by zoom then mm -hmm. um she also mentioned that, you know, uh, money that went to C Fiber probably wouldn't get it here into town. So, which I wouldn't be happy about that because no, you and I and Chris have to vote on this. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So we're going to be the one hung up if we because because again, it's a, to me, it's a rare opportunity to actually do a benefit for something in town. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Benefit people in town or an entity in town that really needs the money. Yeah. And um, people at CV Fiber are willing to come and meet with the sure. select board um, at some point in time. And our, we do have a rep to them now. Because um, so I believe in CV Fiber. I just right. don't believe that they're going to get us any service right. for $92,000. Yeah, and if, and if we're going to get penalized for right. that. Well, I don't want to be sitting here and have me hung up in a tree because yeah. we're taped to a pole with duct tape because um, we spent the money and now we got to pay it back and we got nothing for it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Probably with interest. Yeah, within, oh, I'm sure. Yeah. So that's yeah. just my thought, because originally I yeah. thought, even this may be an avenue to form this committee we talked about, because I said, I think a good idea is to, since the board has to make the decision, that you have an outside committee come up, get, solicit the, uh, the ideas, and have them come up with the proposals to bring to the board. That way you've got another entity, sort of, right. it's not just us doing it. Mm -hmm. That was kind of, my, but who to put on that group, you know, I think maybe we talked, you know, chances are, uh, Emergency management director, maybe talk to him about his thoughts on. He mentioned that he was going to send us um, his thoughts, and then he would who probably might be, you know what I mean, some some townspeople. Yeah, some townspeople, and and his thoughts as the emergency management director on ways that sure the town could use some of that money to address those issues. And then he said probably because he's on the fire department, he would kind of not be on the not committee, be on right? The committee. And that makes sense. Yeah because it might be a conflict of interest or someone might perceive a conflict of interest, so. Okay, yeah, and so, yeah, I think having somebody, I know VLCT and the Regional Planning Commission are basically the, the kind of in-between government agencies that are navigating this funding. Um, so having somebody there or um, that could, you know, if people have ideas, they could tell us, okay, um, that's a good one, or that one probably isn't good. Because um, I had originally thought, well, we could use some of that money to fix up the town hall. Where yeah, that's not clear in there. But it's not clear, and there's no way we want to sink a bunch of money, of that money, into right. this town hall and then find out that uh, we have to pay it. Because after sitting with Bonnie, I guess to me again, just we need to go to what's black and white. Right. What's if it's yeah. right there in the sentence, you can pay this, and then that's what we do because it's just safe. Mm -hmm. and to me, if it does fits that and it helps an entity in town or people in town, then that's what we ought to do. That's what I feel. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Because then we're safe. Because you and me and Chris have to sign the paperwork. Right. Yeah. Or whoever is on the. <laughs> or whoever. Or yeah. When it finally goes when through. They finally, uh, the town basically it would be, but. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, but yeah, this could be a good start. Um, and yep. we just got to make sure, in my view, that whoever's on the committee, there's no special interest particular group. You know, to really right. like some outside people that don't participate much come in and it takes some of the work off our plate because they can right. solicit the ideas and then package it up and bring it to us. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to end up making the decision. Yeah. 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 Um, I had a thought on that. of come and gone, I guess. Maybe it'll come back. But um, yeah, so. I think we'll try to see if somebody from VLCT or from the Regional Planning Commission could um, be there at this meeting. Um, we'll maybe try to have it happen. There's no rush. There's no rush. We got three years, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Sounds um, like a good winter project. Yeah, it does sound like a good winter project. Winter You're project. Right. <laughs> like maybe start mid fall mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. we're messing yeah. with the budget. But yeah. We could appoint this committee anytime, you know what I mean? Maybe right. a, an October, mm -hmm. September, October uh, mm -hmm. meeting to form this group and then give them a time frame to the spring to mm -hmm. Come solicit ideas, ideas and bring them to us. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a plan. And then give them our marching orders. Safe, yeah. safe, safe. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. we don't want to have to go visit Brandy in jail. No. <laughs> He just smiling about that. Right. So, uh, just an update about CV Fiber. Um, that basically, they um, a, a rep from CV, one of the board members, um, uh, gave a presentation at the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission commissioner meeting um, earlier this month, and uh, I'm the commissioner from Woodbury, so I was there at the meeting and. They, the first thing that they're doing throughout the region um, that, that's part of the um, communication union district is basically what, what CV Fiber is. Um, they're doing, a, they need to do a poll inventory and um, most of the region um, is either served by Green Mountain Power or Washington Electric and those two um, utilities had provided them with a poll inventory. Um, the Hardwick Electric Department doesn't have a poll inventory, so they don't have that information. So CV Fiber um, is basically going to be funding um, a poll inventory. inventory for Hardwick Electric Department. Perfect. So, and that way uh, Woodbury will be included in their planning. Um, so they are contributing some money towards the town, because Woodbury is the only town 
um, in their in this union district that um, Hardwick Electric Department serves. serves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ca someone ca Callis isn't in the district because they do some of Callis. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. And there's a little bit of Stan Hill. Yeah, it go goes to the Callis ball field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I don't know how far it goes off on side streets. Off yeah, and a little area. bit of the the northeast corner of Woodbury also is served. If by you look the line to end, there's a pole yeah. that drops right in the old, just by the edge of the ball field, and the Green Mountain Power picks up the other side. Yeah. There's a little gap there. Yeah. So they'll they'll be doing that survey. I, I assume fairly fairly soon. But um, um, and I have been communicating with uh, Becky Brown, our representative, to try to arrange a meeting. Um, probably at a select board meeting with C Fiber just to kind of have them give us an update and we can ask, you know. Yeah, that'd be good, yep. Maybe we could ask them some of our, or just voice some of our concerns. Yeah, because I just shared mine. It's, I've got nothing against CV Fiber. It's right. just this money scares me a little bit to go after them. <laughs> yep. To me, this seems like They're gonna the go, best. we did a poll inventory with the money, whatever, just using yeah. that as an example. I think, well, we don't think that's right. Right, yeah. <laughs> now you're in trouble. Yeah. I mean, they're getting a good chunk of money too. Yeah, from this, outside. This program. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but the, to me, to get high-speed internet to people it's in important. town. Yeah, I agree with you. This, on that. Is, this is the way to the yeah. way to go. Yeah, um, it's important. So, because any of the other uh, for-profit um, entities, they've done what they yeah, they're not going to they do anymore. Do right, it. they're done. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I agree. It's a good entity, and it's needed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, anything else about the town hall at all? Robin, any thoughts on, you know, just this planning stuff that we're going to get into for the town hall? Um, One of the big things I think about help it out, like we put skirt around. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Foam it, skirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the, pump in. with the ener energy audit, there'll be a contractor that will come and they'll do the, the testing. Um, and it has, has to be contractors that are on the energy efficiency Vermont yeah. Yeah, list. But they'll come and do the testing and then they'll come back to the town with recommendations. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's up to the town to take up, um, you know, whatever, you know. Didn't we did it. 10 years ago, 15 of all the buildings, but the, the key then was they wanted to give us the materials, but no money for labor. Uh -huh. yeah. So that didn't work out so good. Right. And I don't know what the state of the, the um, you know, the reimbursement or, or whatever it is now, you know, I did my house probably 10 years ago or so, and there was a good amount of money to help homeowners. Um, so, but we'll find that out. Um, so, um, Okay. If you're going to do scary content, you should really fold the floor dresses in the floor first. Yeah, because my thought was was uh, spray a couple inches of foam under the floor mm -hmm. to seal the air and then skirt it. Mm -hmm. That would stop the water freezing. Haven't spent a lot of time in here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which is not going to change the appearance of the building much at all. No. Because no. So. you'll be you crank up that furnace and you're burning on the top of your head and your feet are frozen. Yeah. Stuck at the floor. Yeah. Yep. Okay. But that's for the committee to work on. Those are not real expensive things or right. difficult. No. We'll use that town building fund again. Yep. <laughs> we're draining it dry. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll fill it back up again. We'll right. do that. Okay. So next on the agenda, um, actually, why don't we do the Hardwick Police okay, I can update, update first? Because that'll yeah. kind of explain why, why the... So yeah. I had a conversation last week with uh, Aaron Cochran, the Hardwick Police Chief, and. Um, he met with their board last week. It must have been last Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, I can't and, remember uh, what the date They've was. lost four police positions and have decided to underfund their police department to some degree. So he can't fill them. So they're not going to have the staffing to be able to come to town, unfortunately, for now. So that's a done deal. Mm -hmm. So we're back with the sheriff. So policing right. is going to become, he's lost four people and he doesn't even have enough people for 24-hour day coverage. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, so yeah. we're back to having nothing again, or very next to nothing. Yeah. So that's that. So we're kind of going back to the share. That's why I figured yeah, it makes sense to talk about right. that. Then. So I've been sitting on the contract, um, which came in on June 9th, um, a while ago, um, just because you know I was aware that we were we were discussing thinking otherwise. Um, so, so here's a copy, Paul. Um, so they have up their rate to 30 75 an hour. I don't really even remember what it used to be. Um, but I don't think it's a significant amount. Um, 
And I know we've, we have budgeted uh, $5,000 for the, this fiscal year for them. Um, do you have a, and maybe it's on this, um, do you have a sense of how much we spent in fiscal year 21? It was, I was like 44,000 something. So we came close, but they're still, they're always under budget and you know, they never, they're never here enough to. Right. Yep. I remember saw it. Yeah, so they almost spent the money. So they came close, close enough, I guess. I'd like um, them to overspend a little bit. Right. And it's the same issue, you know, we have asked Sheriff Hill about this in the past, you know, because we did significantly raise the budget to try to get them, to have them have a more of a presence here in town, um, and partly related to this speeding issue along Route 14. Um, and we were told then um, that they were also understaffed. And it's yeah, really they, when you go to the courthouse, it's the Lamoille County Sheriff at the Berry Courthouse. Oh, wow. That's yeah. how understaffed they are. Yeah, so, the, so it's an issue of staffing with them, too. Um, but um, so I think here, you know, the part in the contract that um, uh, the department agrees to furnish deputies for blank hours per week on a regular basis, um, I wished in a way that they had filled that part in. I think they're well, kind of what us. we want. Right, okay. Um, the hours worked per week will be determined according to contract length and contract amount of blank number of dollars. Um, so we, who, does anybody have a calculator? Do you have a calculator on your phone? Mm -hmm. So let's divide $5,000 by, um, oh, come on, phone. Of course, there's mileage on here too, and that's sometimes the mileage is almost as much yeah. as divided by what's the hourly rate? Uh, Thirty point two five. That'd be that's not right. Why did I? That's the hours right there. One sixty five. One sixty five. Okay, so one hundred sixty five hours. So, um, of course, there's mileage in there, too, but we could just write in, we could write 150 hours. So that's three hours a week. Is three that hours a week. Know? Yeah, that's not a lot of hours. Um, well, we were talking with Hardwick of four. So four, okay. All right. So let's just put three hours a week in there. Okay. All right, so three hours. I wish there was people fighting over the contract. Yeah. It'd be yeah. better for us. Okay, so then I'll write that, and then we both. Or we could use fuzzy math and say we'd like 100 hours a week for $5,000 uh, to see that. if they we figure did, it out. We initially did that. So, we, what's that contract saying about if they don't cover their obligation? Uh, let's see, well there are um, different clauses about if we're unhappy with uh, like, we can terminate. We can terminate. Should um, parties? Yeah, if, if they're checking you three hours a week or whatever it is, and they're mm -hmm. not here. Oh no, they're only billing us if we actually come. Oh yeah, yeah. we aren't paying. Oh, we yeah. only pay when we get billed. What the problem in the past has been is like we'll go two, three weeks. They won't bill us for any hours. Yeah. So it's not that we're paying for what we're not getting. It's just we're not even. We please come, please come. Yeah. And earlier, you know, when we, when we were contracting for more hours and more money, um, you know, often they just weren't able to meet that. And, and we did, did ask them about that, you know, and at that point, they were the only show in town, and I guess they still are, so we didn't really... I wonder if Roger would ever be interested in bidding on Woodbury. You know, we talked to, we talked to the Lamoille County Sheriff's Department about this, and they mentioned that the fact that we aren't in Lamoille County would probably be an issue. Yeah. Um, so well, except they're now working in Barry, so they got deputies. That's true. Well, they got they're deputies right. in the courthouse in Burlington. They got deputies. They got courthouse. They're okay. covering a lot of stuff. Well, we yeah. can. I can ask. I know Roger. I'll email. Okay. Him. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Ask. Because I, I think for now we probably should do this one. Yeah. Because we got to have something. So yeah, I'll make so. a motion and we go ahead and okay. sign this contract for five thousand dollars a year. Okay. All right. Or um, up to five thousand. Yeah. I'll second that, and um, any other discussion at all about it? Um, so all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so we'll sign them. Um, I'll sign this one. Today is the 26th of July. At this point we're interested in just someone actually coming. Yeah. Yeah. So they probably haven't been coming since July 1st, so. Nope. And I'd, I haven't missed them. 
Right. Well, some people have. No names mentioned. Some of them. Our vigilante committee of one that I've just recently heard about. So where is the second one? Do you? Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh yeah. So Probably go ahead, be. sign it. Yeah, and then you have to sign them both. Yeah, we have to sign them both, and what we'll send them both. Uh, they'll sign it, and then they'll send us one back. So that's kind of the deal. Yeah. I left the top one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, then. July twenty-six. All right. So technically, we probably could get them for a few extra hours. Seems like yeah, because we're already starting. One month has gone by, and because we were talking with Harvey Pretty about what three, four, three to four hours yeah. a week. So, so Robin, I'll give you this. To I would you love it if uh, they would show up. The end of the meeting. That. Good mail it. Saturday, I went through and for Harvey Pretty, cops were setting down the water tower. Yeah, uh -huh. which they'll do sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's um, not a matter they don't want to. It's a matter the board's not filling the spots, and there's just nobody to send. So, just I have just a couple updates. Um, the first one is uh, the personnel policy. I resent it with a uh, forwarding the original email that I sent, and I still haven't heard anything back whether hmm. okay. from that. Uh, uh, um, so I'm probably going to leave call and um, just complain a little bit tomorrow. Sometimes I know I called um, about the cemetery because I hadn't heard back from them either, and I did get an email response today. Um, I called this morning, um, so that might help. I don't know. Um, but basically, the the phone message that I heard is that um, not that they're understaffed, but that. Um, there are, I guess, different people are taking vacations, so there, it takes them a while to yep. get back. I'm running into that us. this month on a lot of things. So yep. and so's gone. Yeah. So, um, um, so the other update is just um, I did hear back from VLCT on the cemetery issue, and it was a question that I brought up on, you know, who who really should be overseeing, yeah. um, not so much the dispute, but uh, I mean. And not that it's really a dispute, but um, just who who was the final say on whether or not the um, uh, there's an addition to the Westwoodbury Cemetery? Um, and I'm just going to read the response. Um, and basically, in a nutshell, it's it's this is, is a select board. board. Yeah. So um, uh, to begin, uh, the select board has the responsibility and authority to decide whether to ultimately accept a property or not because the potential cemetery parcel is just that, potential. Um, until it becomes a town cemetery property, the select board will be responsible for determining whether slash how to accept a parcel as a gift. 18 VSA 5481 reads, the right to acquire land and property for cemetery purposes, either by purchase or gift, by towns, churches, religious or ecclesiastical societies, and cemetery associations is hereby affirmed under the conditions and restrictions set forth in this chapter. And as you can see, um, cemetery commissions are not listed here. 18 VSA 5382 also bolsters this position. A town may take and hold in trust grants, gifts, or bequests of property and apply the same or the income thereof for the care, improvement, and or embellishment of its burial grounds or a part thereof, or for the erection, preservation, or removal of a monument, fence, or other structure in or around the same according to the terms of the grant, gift, or request. And then uh, the, the lawyer concludes, the select board should know that they are acting in a fiduciary capacity and determine what is in the best interest for the town. Accepting a gift of land for a cemetery will remove a previously taxed parcel from the grand list and that the land will now be town owned and generally speaking the transaction will be will not be free of cost to the town due to attorney's fees and title searches, etc. Even though the exchange is a gift. Um, so I think at this point um, 
I did get an email from Patty Garbeck, the chair of the Secretary Commission, and she has not yet received a new proposal from um, Bear Brissett and, and the folks that um, met with us uh, at our last select board meeting. Um, so, um, and I, you know, I think probably at our next meeting um, that we should decide as a select board whether the town wants to take on the expense of this um, addition, addition to the, so. I guess the deal for me is do they need the extra space? That's a question. I think I think that there isn't any more space. If the answer is yes, then we probably should expand it. Yeah. <laughs> then yeah. I, I mean. I'm pretty sure it's full. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty it sure it's full. perfect too. sense. But again, I'm just, I'm speaking right. here, voting yeah. on this, I just. Right. right. So, Brandy, you, oh, go ahead. Years ago, there was a lot of kids that lived up there. Mm -hmm. Back yeah, I mean, there was, in our meeting last time, you know, the, the cemetery commission, the, the issue was uh, a brook, kind of a, what do they call it when a brook doesn't run all the time? Um, there's a specific term for it. Um, but anyway, there is water that flows through this, or near um, this new, the, the original proposal that Bear had of where the uh, cemetery would be expanded. So that was an issue both for the state and they had somebody from the state cemetery uh, um, association or whatever come and look over the site and, and that person recommended that the cemetery not be expanded that way. there that way. Um, so, so the cemetery commission sent a letter um, that I read at the last meeting. Um, they were advising that we not do this. and. Um, but during the course of the discussion, um, it did turn up that the, the cemetery could be expanded in a different direction, which would take away the whole water issue. And, and the, there was another uh, budding landowner that had a kind of a well, a concern for their well, and it would take away that concern also. So it sounded like there was maybe there was a possibility. Um, so um, Bear Brissett was going to come up with a new plan um, and he was going to send that to the cemetery commission. They were going to review it. Um, which we haven't seen yet. Which we haven't okay. seen yet, yeah. Um, so, um, and then I had mentioned in this meeting that the town would pay for a survey. And I think if we as a select board could, if we had a sense of what the, it's going to cost the town to do this so that we could um, make a decision on whether or not the town would because the library, the, I keep on saying the library, the cemetery commission is worried about, you know, there's $7,000 a year, which most of it goes to the mulling. To the mulling, yeah. Are they worried that they don't have the money to pay for it? And that's fine, because I, I, again, if, if it needs expanding, I'm in favor of. Okay, and Brandy has some comments about this sure. too, which she's been trying to share. So currently they have 20,000, So there's some money there. So oh. When, yes, the money that the town gives the seven thousand dollars for appropriation is the expenses for the mowing mm -hmm. but they have this cushion that they have received from that the, the, Eleanor angel fund right they have some savings the there okay. jumps the gun and says we're gonna no i got this. it i got it <laughs> they do have some money okay yep. it, and, and, it, it, not that they're gonna make a ton of money off plots but i'm just saying right. there's right. a cushion in there there's not much maintenance that they plan on there needs to be yeah, so we'll I figure. It. Yeah, I understand. With, so they know their numbers. I think okay. statements. But so I think when we make that decision, we have to make sure Brandy's there to discuss the costs. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, this, people are going to continue to die because that's how it works. Right. right. I'll, I'll, it was an offer <laughs> that night at the meeting that they had 10 pots that they could have the money up front for. Right. Right. So that's my, my point. You know, we just, I, I think it's manageable within something. Yeah, because um, our job is to kind of sit outside of that and say we got to if they're going to extend and need space, mm -hmm. well, we should. So is this angel fund for all cemeteries in Woodbury, or just that West Woodbury cemetery? For oh no no no, it's, it's for the cemetery fund, so it can be dispersed throughout okay. the cemeteries. Yeah. Yeah. Again, so I think that when they get that proposal, mm -hmm. we should have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay, because to me, it's a no-brainer deal. We need the space. Someone wants to donate it. We just got to yeah. figure out how much it's going to cost to do it. And yeah. Yeah, I think one other member of the commission who was here at that meeting was worried, of, you know, that, or just wanted to make clear that this isn't 
free that it is going to be an expense to the town. Um, right. For it's, the land is free, but transferring land costs money. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, I don't think it'll be enough land that'll make a quite that much of a difference in our okay. list. Um, right. I don't think it's... But it's kind of, you know, I don't know if people are going to gonna need the space. It's just some silence right. uh, over yeah. time. Yeah. You kind of got an opportunity. But anyway, I'll look at it seriously okay. when the time comes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just... It's kind of an update. They don't know what we do otherwise when people are looking for plots and we don't have Yeah, no, I, th to me, they made a convincing yeah. argument about why they wanted it to be expanded. In fact, what Bear said was that if the town doesn't want to do this, I'm going to just do it anyway and yeah. it'll be a private cemetery. Right, right. So, um, yeah, I just, I, I think I it should be. The town's going to incur a lot of costs. No. No. Uh, no. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and they they were yeah, willing to, to, to me. It's I know these people too, and I think it'll end up being mm -hmm. it'll work out. Yeah. yeah. So, in a sense, if the cemetery commission d decides that they don't want to do this, we could override them if we. Yeah. Well, over it's, what, he's, what they're saying in that letter is we would we're actually the fiduciary agents on the land, right. so I think we could do that, and then it just is what it is. I don't right. want to tick off the cemetery commission. Well, but, would it really be too bad to have? Public cemetery and have to carry on a private right next to it. Right, right. Yeah, and yeah. I don't still, it's not necessary, I don't yeah. think. But I'll look at the specifics when they come. Yeah, in. yeah. Okay. Because we're kind of imagining what it might be at this point. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's it on the agenda. Is there any other business that anybody would like to bring up? It's quiet. Well, I have a motion to okay. adjourn then, so I can start going through these big, thick okay. piles of yep. papers. I'll, I'll second that motion. Um, any further discussion on adjourning? Hearing none. Um, is there a, an affirmative vote to adjourn? Aye. Aye. Okay. We're done. This is what we got to sign that one. Yeah. yeah, and I'll start working on the bills too. And then I'll go right home and do that.